Hello, 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 Future Stu here. Um, so yesterday we did take some video footage of um, NEC Toy Fair. Uh, Georgie was testing out a new camera and everything was okay. Uploaded to the computer okay. But as soon as you put those videos into the editing suites, um, it doesn't want to play. Uh, so on my older version of the editing suite, I get a green and red haze across the screen. That is it. But on my updated version, I get a lovely clear picture and I can get some sound, but the picture isn't keeping up with the sound. So, yeah, unfortunately, the video footage um, isn't going to be used in this video. And um, I'm absolutely gutted uh, because I did actually want some video footage for once. And uh, yeah, and Georgie spent a lot of time walking around filming as well, bless her. So to any of you who we did film... Um, your stalls, um, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, especially um, Martin's Metal uh, Marvels. Um, what I will do is I will leave a link to your Facebook page in this video below. Once again, I can only apologise. Um, I'm not a technical wizard. I have no idea how to resolve this. Um, but listen, maybe uh, maybe if we can uh, get it resolved, George, you can put it up on her channel or do some shorts or what have you. Um, I don't know, but uh, yeah. So you should have used my phone. I should have used my phone, but like, like you know, <laughs> I'm not keen on going around filming stuff. And uh, so Georgie was there to do it and uh, yeah, it's not worked. So uh, yeah, we need to get that sorted out. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. We, we did pick up some amazing stuff and uh, yeah, well, watch your video and uh, make your own minds up. Alrighty then, so we are now home from NEC Toy Fair, as you can probably tell. So let's get straight into the pickups. And the first pickup of the day for me was this Star Wars The Legacy Collection, Yana Dal Gargan. Now, I do already have this figure, and the card back on that figure is a lot better than this one. So I was really like umming and ahhing about do I open the one that I've got. So I found this one, got it for a fiver. Um, Bob's your uncle, Sally's your aunt. I'm going to open this and put it on display. So, yeah, loving this figure. I think it's brilliant. The card back, like I say, is, is, isn't is great. But who cares? I'm going to be opening this. So this one is going to be going in my Jabba's throne room. So, yeah, not bad for a fiver. So um, let's crack on and see what else I managed to pick up. So sticking with this Star Wars theme, my next pickup. Well, I can't really call it a pickup. This was a gift from Des T. So in one of my previous videos, when I went to Sandown, I managed to find myself a carded Power of the Force 2 Malakili. And Des messaged me and uh, said that he had a spare and he would uh, bring it to uh, NEC for me. So Des, thank you so much. I uh, really do appreciate that. He's in great condition and he is going to look good on display. So thank you very much. But not only that, he's gifted us this sticker as well. And it's, Des T, because it's Star Wars. I absolutely love that. And you know what, Des? I will more than likely get this framed. I, I think it is that good. So, yeah, thank you so much, my friend. Really do appreciate that. Anyhow, that's Malakili and my Because It's Star Wars Des T sticker. Let's crack on and see what else I managed to pick up at NEC Toy Fair. So, as you can see then, my next pickup was this animated version of Bane. From the new Batman Adventures. And originally he was £20. So I asked the guy what he could do. And he said I can take a five off it. So I got him for 15 quid. So but yeah look at this. Absolutely brilliant. I might need to clean it up and tidy it up a little bit around here. But that's okay. Really liking that. Fantastic looking figure. Awesome. I love this. I love this series. I love this wave of figures. I just think they look so cool. I'm so into it at the moment. Turn it around again. The back of the card, not ideal, but like I've said before, we're going to be viewing it from the front. So uh, yeah, really liking that a lot. So all in all, I've spent twenty pounds so far, so not too bad. Anyhow, let's crack on and see what else I've managed to pick up. So sticking with the DC theme, then I picked up this DC Comics designer Mister Freeze by Greg Capullo, and I've got to say, this is the first time I've seen this figure. 
And when I saw it, it, I just was automatically drawn to it. Absolutely incredible. I'm loving the paint apps on this. He looks absolutely superb. So he's got his little lid in here, his helmet or whatever it is he wears. Um, yeah, but look at that. He is so cool. And the red of the eyes as well, the, the goggles that he's wearing really do stand out. Absolutely incredible. And I got this for £10. So again, another absolute bargain. And I'm really getting into this um, series as well because it was at Sandown Park that I managed to pick myself up a Harvey Two-Face in, um, in this wave. So yeah, really liking that. And if you spin it around, you've got Red Hood there, Catwoman. You've got is that Thrasher uh, suit, Batman. And Mr. Freeze himself. So yeah, really, really liking this series. And then you've got an image of him in black and white just there. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. I'm very much into my DC. So yeah, really liking that a lot. Right. I've got another couple of items to show you. So let's crack on and see what else I managed to pick up. Righty ho then. So this was the last thing that I actually managed to pick up. Albeit I do have something else to show you after this. But yeah, Nightwing. Again, from the new Batman Adventures animated version. And I've got to say, once again, absolutely fantastic. Just love these figures. And uh, I think I was with Simanga Fandango at the time. And uh, he said, yeah, it's a great, great line. So i um, going to be keeping him carded. Uh, because again, like I said, the carding at the back isn't great. But um, yeah, just an awesome, awesome figure. Awesome series. Um, loving these. And uh, yeah, I got it for 10 quid. So all in all... I spent about £40, so I cannot really grumble um, with this at all. It's just, yeah, absolutely brilliant. So um, I've come home with some, some money as well, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. So that is um, Nightwing from the new Batman Adventures. And, uh, yeah, loving that a lot, like I said. So as I previously said, I've got something else to show you, but I'm not supposed to be getting this for another few weeks. So uh, I'll just get it up. Two seconds. Okie dokie then, so here is the last item that I will be showing you and it is the DC Multiverse, the Batman Who Laughs and Robins of Earth and well, Georgie managed to pick this up and uh, there is a story behind this. I have wanted this set for a long, long time. I've been keeping an eye out for it and everything like that. Now, Georgie's mum, bless her, she's already gone in with Georgie on um, my 50th birthday present which is the Haslab Cantina which will be coming out next year. So, before we went up to um, NEC, unbeknownst to me, Georgie's mum said, can you pick something up for Stuart for his 50th? And Georgie rightfully said, well, you've already got Stuart's 50th. And she said, I know, but it's not coming till next year. You know, it'd be nice for him to have something to unwrap on his birthday. And um, yeah, so spotted this um, at a very decent price. And yeah, I've got to say, I'm absolutely over the moon. Thing is, I can't have it until the end of October, which is absolutely fine. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. The figures are so cool. Really liking this a lot. And it's, yeah, just an absolute superb piece. Now, I'm debating, do I keep this box or do I display it? Because if I do display it, I'd want to get something like this. That is absolutely fantastic. I love the way they've got these figures displayed. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this yet, how I'm going to display it. I've got a little bit of time to think about it. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Loving that. And uh, yeah, roll on a few weeks time. Not because I'm 50, but because I can get to open this. And uh, yeah. Anyhow, so what I'm going to do, as I said, that is the last item I'm going to show you. I'm going to get everything up front and see the video out. Two seconds. Alrighty then, so here is my NEC Toy Fair haul in its entirety and I've got to say I'm absolutely beaming. I'm loving what I'm seeing in front of me. I'm so happy right now. So it is DC heavy, but hey listen, I'm not complaining. I'm loving my DC at the moment. So talking to DC, um, I managed to pick up two of the new Batman Adventures figures in Bane and Nightwing. And they're going to go nicely with the rest of the figures that I have in that wave. I've also managed to pick up the DC Comics designer series, Mr. Freeze. That figure just looks absolutely fantastic. The design of it, the style of it, the, the paint apps, the pale blue tone to the skin, the red of the goggles, which really do pop on that pale face. It's just absolutely incredible figure. And uh, yeah, it's a shame to keep him boxed, but I will be keeping him boxed. Absolutely. And then I've also managed to acquire, well, not quite yet, the DC Multiverse, the Batman Who Laughs and Robins of Earth. Again, something that I've really wanted for a long time. It was found at a very good price indeed. And this will be gifted to me at the end of October for my birthday. So yeah, roll on my birthday. I cannot wait to, to get this displayed. 
And then not forgetting the Star Wars side of things. I do love Star Wars. It is my first love. But every now and again, it does take a back seat. Um, I picked up the Star Wars the Legacy Collection, Yana Del Gargan. A bit of a beta of a box or package or card or whatever you want to call it. But that's fine. That'll be coming out and displayed. As will the Malakili, who was kindly gifted to me by the generous Des T. Talking to Des T, I have the Des T sticker because it's Star Wars. Absolute genius. Loving that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to have it at a slight lean up against, if I do display it or get it framed, I'm going to have it at a slight lean because I know Des likes a good lean as well. And talking to Des, um, we, we we met up with him, obviously, yesterday and Andrea. Um, but those two weren't the only people we met. We met VTR Dave, we met DTM and the lovely Helen. Uh, Helen. Uh, we met Connor. Always good to see you, Connor. Fantastic. As well as Simanga Fandanga. Always enjoy spending time in your company. We saw Matt from Zero Hunter Toys. We also saw Julian. Also bumped into uh, Steve, Derby Collector as well. So it was great to catch up with you and, and see you. So um, awesome stuff. But for the first time, we met Chris from MOD Extra. What a what a great guy. Love meeting you for the first time. Um, always nice to meet new people face-to-face -face after speaking to them online and stuff like that. So yeah, brilliant. Um, talking to first meets... Uh, we saw Miss Detty. She was there with Christian. So it was always good to, to see you two. Haven't spoken to you for an absolute age. So it was a uh, lovely meeting you in person. Uh, brilliant. And thank you. And uh, then there was Dave Well Toys. Bumped into him. He was doing his stall. Now I know Dave puts a lot of time, effort and hard work into running his stall. So uh, good job, Dave. And so does Robbo's Toys. I mean, Robbo gets about, he you know comes down and does the Sandown Toy Fair. Um, I think he does Kempton as well. Good job. But um, there was also Usual Mike. Now, Usual Mike wasn't there because he lives in Australia. A bit of a long way to come for, for, for a toy fair. But he did a live stream and he put in our group chat, did anybody want to jump on live from the uh, the toy fair? So I did that. And I've got to say, uh, I watched the video back yesterday and I can only apologise. Wow. A, you saw most of the time on camera my ugly mug. Um, I didn't get to show many toys. I just handpicked a few of the stalls that I really liked and thought well, these these guys are cool and stuff like that and um, I for those of you who know me I always feel really um, uncomfortable walking around filming and stuff like that and uh, that was no exception yesterday uh, I did still start to feel a little bit awkward and, and claustrophobic and uh, claustrophobic in areas because it did get quite busy but it just takes one person and yesterday I <laughs> I bumped into that one person and uh, yeah she was not a well, she wasn't amused, so uh, I just uh, made a quick exit. And uh, yeah, wasn't very happy, as you could tell by the video. I will be leaving a link to that video in the description below to this video as well. Now, of course, I wasn't the only one there. Georgie was there as well. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Georgie because um, she's managed to buy herself one of those like small vlogging cameras. So she tested that out yesterday. So the footage of that will be added to this video as well. So Georgie, thank you so much for taking that footage. I really do appreciate it. And I've got to say, Georgie picked up some awesome stuff as well. And I'm so, uh, sure rather that Georgie will be putting that either into an Instagram video or putting it on her channel, which I will leave the link to both in the description below to this video as well. Now, going forward with toy fairs, I normally go for the early bird. But good golly, Miss Molly, £18 it costs per person to get in. That is 36 quid for two of us to get in early bird. And to be quite honest with you, um, when we go next time, I'm sorry, BP fares, but I won't be doing early bird. I'll be going doing the standard entry, queue up like um, a lot of the general public and wait. Because to be fair, you know, over this last year, we have noticed an increase in the price of the early bird. Now, I know the parking is free. I get that. But I'm sure somewhere... There's got to be something that incorporates a bit of the cost for parking. So that's maybe why the ticket prices have gone up. Um, yeah, so going forward, um, I, I, me and Georgie probably won't be doing the early bird. We'll just be doing the standard entry, which was a tenner at that time. So no doubt when we go next time, it will would have bumped up for the standard as well. But, uh, but there you go. But listen, all in all, we had a great day. It is such a good time going to these toy fairs. Buying lots of toys, seeing lots of different toys that you would never think of buying. And I I, I, I don't, I just buy what I like, obviously. And uh, meeting up with people, that for me is the best part of the uh, toy collecting, the social side of things and stuff like that. If you are new to the channel, 
feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let you know of more content. And as always, there will be more content. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, very much appreciate your support. I keep saying it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I can't say it enough. I really do generally appreciate your support. Um, take care. Stay safe. And we shall see you in the next video. Bye for now. Oh, also, sorry, just quickly before I go. Um, this Friday, we have episode um, six of What Made Star Wars Great coming out. And then on Sunday, for my sins, I'm doing the first of the Revenge live streams where people who took part in the Star Wars quiz or the movie quiz get to come on and quiz me about Star Wars and movies. So I am going to get absolutely crucified. But listen, all in good fun. Anyhow, catch you soon and uh, stay safe.